Now, with the arrival of more leaders is the escalation of security at the summit, as well as challenges for everybody else who's living and working in the city. Road closures are ramping up, and tonight that ceasefire protest that we just showed you a little while ago, that's adding an extra layer of complexity. NBC Bears' Marion Favreau is live from Market Street and Powell, where the protesters are vowing to bring traffic to a stop tonight, Marianne. <laughs> Yes, right now here on Market Street, there are more than a thousand demonstrators. If you take a look here, people are lined up all the way down the street. I also want to show you that if you look up, there are two people who have actually climbed the scaffolding of this building on Market Street, and they are waving a flag. Now, this demonstration was organized by the Palestinian Youth Movement, and they are calling for a ceasefire in Gaza. Today, in addition to more protesters, we also saw more roadblocks and more visitors. Carrying flags and signs, hundreds of people from the Bay Area Chinese community lined 3rd Street today, hoping to get a glimpse of the president of China's motorcade. As more dignitaries arrive in San Francisco for the Apex Summit, more roadblock signs are going up on streets around Moscone Center. And that's creating a lot of slowdowns for people like Jesse Perez, a driver for the VA hospital. I'm already about 30 minutes behind what I normally would do for, for a day. But this is probably going to add another 20 to 30 minutes since I got to go a little bit farther out. The road closures have forced some to give up entirely on driving in San Francisco this week. I'm very careful to not drive because I keep my car in the garage this week. In addition to road closures, there are other challenges. This woman is upset it took her 40 minutes to walk home because she couldn't get a cab. I didn't find it, you know, I go a long way. Rental cars are also in short supply. So like rental cars, the, everything seems to be closed around this area. The travel impacts are not just downtown. Today, two lanes of the Bay Bridge shut down, one in each direction, to allow for dignitaries to cross quickly. They stay closed until Friday night at 9. All combined, the closures, slowdowns, and traffic hassles are a blow to some small businesses. Here at Nora Nail Spa, the seats are empty. A lot of people, they have appointment already, and um, they say, oh, they didn't realize that today is, you know, this week is like crazy in this block. So they say, oh, can I move back to next week? Or some people cancel it. But there is one noticeable improvement. Street cleaners are on nearly every corner, making sure San Francisco shines for an international audience. These demonstrators are hoping that President Biden will hear their message, but as of now, he is not scheduled to drive by this area tonight. Reporting live in San Francisco, Marianne Favreau, NBC Bay Area News.